She's going to be outside for ball two. Jackson kind of steps back to second, getting back a little bit. Got a lefty in the box here. It's her right fielder. Pitch is going to be up and away. Ball three. Brings the count full. Pitch is delivered. Called strike three. Good pitch there. Pitch down and away to the left-handed hitter. Bring up number 13, Kaufman. Jackson comes set here to deliver. He does. Be a ground ball down a third baseline foul. Will be foul. Be an 0 1 count with one out. Runner at second. Batter got out of that box pretty quick trying to get down to first base on that. Yeah, he did. Hope our fielders was paying attention. Action comes set here and delivers. Ball's going to be popped up here on the infield. Should be Ryder Blackwood at shortstop. It is. Second out of the inning. Trying to work around this leadoff hit. Bring up number three, Fitz. Playing first base for him today. Pretty good sized fella stepping in there, Joe. Yeah, he is. Ooh, that's pitch a good looking inside. pitch. Yeah, may have just been a touch inside. Hard him with a breaking pitch here. Jackson's going to step off, look back at second. Yeah, on the replay, I still call it a strike. So turn that loose, going to be down. Ball two. Make the count two balls, no strikes. Third baseman over grounds keeping throwing rocks off the field. <laughs> Gonna be a called strike. It's a good pitch. Looks it, like that same pitch yeah. that struck that kid out just a minute ago. Yeah, that pitch broke down after it crossed the plate, but it was about knee high as it crossed. Jackson comes set and delivers. Called strike two. That's fastball on the inside corner. Brings the count even. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner standing at second. Jackson comes set and delivers. Ball is going to be lifted in the left field. It's going to get over. Perez, they are going to score a run on it. He hit that ball off a of left field fence. Kind of got Perez turned around out there. Going to bring up number seven, Brown, their catcher. Pitch is delivered. Ground ball to first base. Grayson Burdison fields. Going to jog over and step on the bag. Going to get us out of the inning. But not after we give up one run. So After the top of the first, Summertown trails one to nothing. We'll come in and see if we can't get it back. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. 
Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. All right, we're back. It's Grayson Burleson in the leadoff spot today. He's going to step in, take his first at bat for the day. Little pitcher warm up here. Is, uh, not a bad fastball, but had a pretty good breaking pitch. Oh, Joe. I was messing with this Grayson. scoreboard deal and wasn't watching him too much warm up. Grayson fouls that first pitch off. There's that breaking That's pitch. That's a nice pitch. Yeah, it's going to be tough to do anything with. Grayson goes down 0-2. He fouled the first pitch off. Pitcher comes set and delivers. There's that curveball again. Grayson's going to foul that one off his foot, I believe. The way it come out of there. Got to have it bat right here. No balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Grayson leading all for us. Yeah, we need to try to have some productive at-bats. Ball's going to be up. Pitch is delivered. Grayson's going to swing through that one. Strike three. It's another breaking pitch. I think he got one fastball that whole that bat. I'm going to bring up Jackson Bennett in the two hole today. Be fastball called ball one. On the inside corner. Be an all-speed pitch in the dirt for ball two. Are we still playing a doubleheader today? No, we're just playing just the one a single game. game. Just a single game. Pitch is delivered. Action's going to foul that one off. Makes it two balls, one strike, one out. The delivers. Jackson's going to hit that ground ball through the 5-6 hole for a base hit. Good piece of hitting yeah, right absolutely. there. Absolutely. Bring up number 10, Kane Kinnick, playing third base for Summertown today. Jackson at first. Case and Blackwood's on deck. Pick over to first. Jackson's back easy. Uh, it's pretty white uniforms, and this dirt's right today. It's after all the rain, it looks good out there. These uniforms are going to be pretty when we get done. Oh, yeah. Pick over again. Jackson gets back easy. Pitcher comes set again. Delivers home. Kane's going to hit that ground ball back up the middle, straight at the pitcher. Plays it off his glove. That ball was hit hard, come off his glove. He knocks it down enough to get Kane at first, but it does move the runner up with two outs. Yeah, the only play he had was to go to yeah, one right there. Yeah, it was knock it down, protect myself, and throw it to one. Bring up Casey Blackwood with two outs. And Jackson did move up to second. Jason's going to foul that one down third baseline. Coach Burson waves at it as it goes by. Well, 
We need to see if we can't have some two-out magic that's been put on us past few games. Oh, absolutely. Uh, good breaking pitch. Casey kind of chases it, kind of checks swings. He did go all the way through. Pitcher kind of standing right out there looking at second. Pitcher comes set here. No balls, two strikes. There's that. Ball be out. The outside for ball one. Makes it one ball, two strikes, two outs. Jackson Bennett standing at second base. He's getting a pretty good lead over there. Base hit here, score him. Yeah. Pitch is going to be out there again. Yeah, the pitcher wanted it. That pitch broke off the plate. Fastball. He swings through and misses for the third out of the inning. So we'll swap them back up. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. All right, we're back. Jackson gets ready to deliver the first pitch. Called ball up. Number 15, Baylor Scott for East Limestone. Jackson delivers. Called strike on the inside corner. Oh, that's a good pitch. Might have been a touch high for this umpire, but. I was going to say, it must it had to have been up. A little right down the middle from here. Pitch has popped up. Out of play. Who'd you say was batting? Baylor Scott is what it has on the. Watch this team. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good pitch. May have been just a touch up on the replay there. I'm showing number 18 batting. But that ain't who's up there. So. That ball will be in the dirt. We'll be a full count. <clears throat> so three balls, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. Jackson delivers. Ball's going to be hit here into left field. Aiden Perez makes the play. First out of the inning. Bring up number 18. Adam, I'm not even going to try because I'll slaughter it. 
Ball's hammered foul down the left field line. Yeah, I'm not going to try to say that last name either. <coughs> you don't want to say that? No. Okay. <laughs> I can't help you on that. Yeah, Will ain't going to help us either, so we're just going to let him go as Adam. Roman? This that one says, says Roman. Roman. Mine says Adam. Good pitch, good pitch. Is that breaking pitch? Jackson's controlling it really well today. Yeah, he's throwing it well. Kind of placing it where he wants to. So one ball, two strikes, one out. Jackson when it sets and delivers. We have foul, foul ball. ball. Threw behind his head for a foul ball. Batter ducked his head but didn't get his bat down. Breaking pitch, fouled off. Foul. You know, this is one of them batting stances that you don't see anymore. You know, I mean, he's really, he gets, he's in the chalk and he's really low. Yeah. He's squatted down really low. You don't see a lot of that anymore. Ball grounded towards third. Kane Kennett comes across the five, six hole, makes the play. A second out of the inning. Got two outs. Told me number four, Cole Vinning. Called strike one. Cole's playing right field for them today. Swings through that pitch for strike two. Was Jackson way up? No balls, two strikes, two outs. Jackson can't get him a K right here. Jackson delivers. Swings through. Strike three. So, so that'll be the end of the top for the second. Summertown steals trails one to nothing. See if we can't get our bats going a little bit here and put something on the board. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Aiden Perez steps in, takes a first pitch, breaking pitch for a strike. That's a good looking pitch he's throwing right there. It Jimmy. is. Ball's going to be in the dirt away, pops away from the catcher. For ball one. And he called ball two. Hayden Perez playing left field for Summertown today. Zach Staggs is on deck, catching for us. That pitch is going to hit, Aiden.
I will bring up Zach Staggs. Hayden Perez gets the lead over at first. Nobody out. Takes ball one down. Pitch line back up the middle. Get on to get all the way through center field. Good piece of hitting there by Zach. This pitcher's going to get tired of us hitting baseballs back at him in a yeah, little while. Yeah, he is. Bring up Keegan McCafferty. Hitting in the seven hole today. Matthew Luffman on deck. Keegan playing right field for us. We got runner at first and second. No outs. Pitcher here delivers. Keegan squares the bunt. Don't Will get it down. Foul. You know, I thought the second baseman made a play on that ball that last at bat there, Timmy, but. It made its way onto center field. It did. Hit. Keegan's going to square the bunt again. Pulls back to slash. Will be a foul ball. Make the count. No balls, two strikes, no outs. He steps back in. Going to just flare that ball over the shortstop's head. Aiden Perez is going to be held up at third. Aiden kind of had to hold his place there a little bit. Going to bring up Matthew Luffman with bases loaded, nobody out. Good piece of hitting right there by Keegan. Got down 0-2. Just reached out and slapped that ball over the shortstop's head. Matthew Luffman steps in here with bases loaded. Corners are in for East Limestone. Pitch going to be delivered away. Ball one. Matthew needs to get him something he can drive right here. It's going to be in the dirt. Aiden kind of scampers back. Catcher had to block it up, but he kept it in front of him. Yeah, something in the five, six hole right there would be nice. Yeah, but well, the third baseman pulled in and the short stop playing that far up the center, up the middle. It's a big hole. Ball's going to be in the dirt. Makes it 3 0. Yeah, and the shortstop's not moving a whole lot when the pitcher comes home, so it'd be tough for him to get over there to make yeah. a play on anything. Pitcher comes out here and delivers a 3 0. Be called strike. That's that breaking pitch. And I mean, you, you know, you know he, he, he likes it. If you favor it with a 3 0 count and that's what you're going to, then, you know, that's probably your best pitch. Yeah, I would agree. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. Ball's going to be hitting that 5-6 hole. Zach Staggs is coming from second. Aiden Perez has done scored. Zach Staggs is going to stand up. Whoop, never mind. He just goes in and slides in. Had it made. Guys was telling him to stay up, but he went ahead and slid in. He wanted to get those white pants dirty. Absolutely. Now, like he ain't going to get them dirty enough catching today. But Matthew Luffman gets a uh, base hit single with two RBIs. Puts Summertown on top. Bring up Ryder Blackwood. Can't say enough about the way this kid's been hitting the last three games. Be top of the lineup on deck and Grayson Burleson. Still no outs. Runner standing at first and second. Pitcher comes set here to deliver his first piece to Ryder. Ryder squares, gets the bunt down a third baseline. They can't oh, get him. Pulled yeah, him. pulled him. Pulls him off. Third 
Third baseman comes in, fields that bunt clean, throws it to first. Pulls the first baseman off the bag. Good job right there by Ryder. Yeah. Top of her lineup come up, Grayson Burson. Good breaking pitch away. Grayson's going to hit that ball foul. Will be foul ball. Counts one and one. Grayson was out in front of that a little bit. Just kind of got it off the end cap and pulled it foul. Like this new camera view you got right there, Will. I'm, yeah, that's I'm a good view that. right there. Yes. Looking to him in the box there. Pitcher comes set here. Not a bad looking pitch. Grayson takes on the inside corner. The fans the over two. here outside the press box thought it was a strike. On two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Base is loaded. Pitch is delivered. Grayson's going to hit a line drive over the shortstop's head. I'm going to pick him up a couple of RBIs. Ryder's going to come all the way to third. Grayson's going to hit a double. Hit that ball in the left center field gap. Good piece of hitting right there. Yes. Going to bring up Jackson Bennett, hitting in the two hole for us today. That makes your score Summertown four, East Limestone one. Still have no outs. Number two man in their lineup, Jackson Bennett, pitching for us today. Takes the first pitch curveball for a strike. Yeah, we're just going to figure out how to hit this curveball. Yeah. Because he's throwing it a lot. There it is again. Jackson's going to file it off over the first base dugout. He's locating it well, too. Yes, he is. You know, about like Jackson was with his. Yes. He's trying it to was, work that outside it, corner, yeah. but they're not giving that's, it to him. That's a good 0-2 count. That's a breaking pitch, and it was outside. I mean, it was, I was giving, it's out there in the chalk. I'm going to give him that. That was a good location for that pitch. 0-2 pitch. We'll bring one ball, two strikes. Throws it out there again. Jackson's not biting, so he's been very, very confident. It's going to be two balls, two strikes. Pitcher comes set. Shakes the catcher off a couple times. Jackson's going to call time. Good idea goes. right there by it Jackson. It was. You're looking at that pitcher and you're seeing him shake pitches off. Let's, let's reset. Called strike three. That's a fastball on the outside corner. Uh, pitcher knew what he wanted. Going to bring up our third baseman, Kane Kinnick. Hitting in the three hole today. With one out, runner standing at uh, second and third. He takes that ball in the dirt for ball one. Is that breaking pitch again? Yes. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. Kane's going to hit that ball through the 5 6 hole for a base hit. We'll score two. Nope, no, nope, they're going to hold Grayson up. Does pick up an RBI there. He's a one out hitting there. Bring up Casey Blackwood. One out. Runner standing at first and third. We'll have a little mound visit. We'll take a little break with them. This is Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network. All right, we're back. Chasing Blackwood's going to step in. Timmy, you think that shortstop would 
Casey swings through the first pitch. Shade towards you, third you, a little you, bit more. You would think he would try to move over and cover that gap a little bit. But, I mean, I'd keep trying to hit it there as long as he's going to stay I over there. I would, too. But he's play, most definitely playing up the middle. I mean, we have had uh, two balls hit back up the middle, but I think we've had three or four hit through this 5-6 hole, so it's kind of outweighing itself. But he's taking the middle away. Casey's going to square the bunt, bunts it foul. I'm going to count one ball, two strikes. One ball, two strikes, one out. Kane Kinnick at first for summertime. Grayson Burleson staring at third. She delivered that breaking pitch again outside. Look, Gray's got him an oven mitt over. Yeah, and he's got those yellow batting gloves yeah, he back does. on. Dead gummit. Well, he got a hit with all him. All away. Too. He did get a hit with him, so I ain't going to say nothing about him. Softball game just started over there. Kane Kinnick's gone. It's going to be fouled off into the third base dugout. Count will stay full. Ain't better watch the pick over here this time with him going that time. Be safe over there, brother. Watch you, man. It's a pretty good lead over at first. He's gone again. Swung through. Strike three. Kane does move up to second. Who that's his first stolen base of the year. Maybe the only stolen base he gets this year. That'll bring up Aiden Perez. Two outs, runners at uh, second and third here for summertime. Foul ball, strike one. So Summertown has played five runs here in the bottom of the second. Aiden was hit his last at bat. Have we batted around? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have. He started off with it. Ball's lined at the shortstop. Kane jumps out there in front of it. Makes him, made it a little awkward for him to make the play on it. But he does make the play. Be the third out of the inning. Summertown does plate five runs. Batted ten batters that inning. So we'll take a little break as they're swapping up Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. All right, we're back. Ball away from his left-handed hitter is number one. Coker. Yeah, so we're up two nothing in the softball game. Summertown is up two to one in the softball game against Mount Pleasant. Should be two to nothing. Two to nothing. Sorry. That pitch will be outside for ball three. This is their center fielder. Jackson works back to a 3-0 count again. Be 
called strike one. Pitch delivered. We grounded over to Grayson Bartison at first. He drops to one knee. Almost. I mean, that's you got to come up thinking you're going to first with that one. Jackson was trying to get over there, but that's a that catch Grayson all the way there. If he fields it and just goes on that way. He does he does look around, said that's my bad guys. He looked for Jackson and then realized realized they'd get there yeah. quicker, so yep. that'll bring up their lead off, number fourteen. Labruski. That's what my man Will says. That's what I'm going with. Labruski? Brewski? Ball two in in the dirt. Jackson start ahead a few of these, keep his pitch count down a little bit. Two balls, no strikes, one out. Jackson comes set here and delivers. Be a foul line drive, one. foul down the third baseline. Brand's going to have to go get that and get it in. Did bounce back out on the field out there. Will zooming in on his lovely wife down here today. Called strike two. That's the nicest compliment she's received in a while, probably. Is it? You don't compliment your wife, Will? It's all right. I don't compliment mine much either. Well, she don't listen to these, so I can talk any way I wanted to her about it. <laughs> she wouldn't know the difference. I bet Kim's listening right now. Probably. Swung through that for strike three. Yeah, I'm sure Kim's got her. Sitting down there with her earbuds in listening. Of course, it wouldn't do no good if I said something bad about Becky on here that somebody would tell her within 30 seconds. So she would, she know. would know. Yeah, she would know. So. Bring up number five, Cade, Cade. Parham. That's what we're going with. Called strike one. Jackson delivers. Called strike two. Good spot right there by Jackson as he went to the outside corner on the first pitch and he crowded the plate a little bit. Jackson just come right back and under his elbows on the inside corner for strike two. No balls, two strikes. Jackson delivers. Breaking pitch. He's going to squirt away from Zach. I'll make count one ball, two strikes. Two outs. That's a good pitch, too. That breaking pitch out there trying to get him to chase a little bit. Jackson delivers. A little too far outside on that one. Yeah, act like he lost his footing a little bit on that one. Didn't like the way he landed. Brings it to two balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. Here in the top of the third inning. Jackson delivers. Ooh. That's, that's a good pitch. It, it may be up just a little bit, Will. That may be what he's calling that. Look good from back here where it I'm did. at. but. Jackson delivers a 3-2 pitch. Be a fastball. Line drive over uh -huh. Ryder's head at shortstop. Base hit. There's a previous pitch. It was inside of that. I'm we'll bring up number 13, Kaufman. It's your pitcher today. Do have two outs. Runner standing at first. Jackson Bennett comes set here, delivers home. Ball down. Pick over to first base. Looking down here, seeing my wife. is Looks like she's having an argument with my 16-month-old grandbaby over a cup. Well, that's an argument she's going to lose, yeah. I guarantee it. Pitch is delivered. Be grounded. Kane Kennett comes over, makes the play, throws over to first base, gets the third out of the inning. Nice play right there. Yeah, I can promise you my wife will not win this argument. I wish, can you get a picture of him, Will? Oh, yeah. Sitting right here. Oh, yeah. Will's going to swing around, try to zoom in there on him. Yeah, you can, gonna win. Yeah, you can hear her just a little bit arguing over his cup. She's, she's going to get mad down there in a minute, and she'll have that cup. But 
We'll take a little break. This is uh, Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. All right, we're back. Zach Staggs is going to step in here in the bottom of the third inning to get us started. This pitch is going to be away for ball one. Okay, our research department failed us. Where is Limestone County? Since we're playing East Limestone County. Oh, through the hole. Ground, ground ball through the 5-6 hole. Shortstop is still playing up the middle. He is. And that's if he's over where he belongs, that's pretty well a routine ground ball. It's like Coach Burdison's going to get a runner. I'm going to say East Limestone County is east of Limestone County. The Will. eastern part of Limestone, that's a good guess. Yeah, you remember me saying I'm going to bring this up because uh, evidently Brittany's at home. As Keegan McCafferty steps in, said if I talk bad about my wife, she would know it in a few seconds. Well, Brittany has sent her a text. Already. Already. So, thanks, Brittany. <laughs> Pick over to first base. They did get a pinch runner over there. Is that Neil? Yes, it is Neil. Got to help Joe out over there. First pitch of the plate to Keegan is going to be balled down. As while we're sitting here in the booth, uh, Joe can't see first base. I can see from the field umpire over. Pitch delivered, going to be grounded to third baseman. Keegan needs to hurry. One out, two. I got them both. They rolled it up. Two outs, Matthew Luffman's going to come up. Athens, Alabama is where East Limestone High yes. School is. Yeah, down around Athens. So we played two Athens schools lately. Yes. Bring up Matthew Luffman. Matthew had a uh, RBI single in his first at bat. It's that breaking pitch called strike. He's one of the ones that hit it through that. Yeah, at 5-6. Five, five, six, six, oh, shortstop is moved over a little bit now. I don't know if he done it or the coach done it. Pitch is going to be wide, get away from the – so these kids had an hour and 20-minute drive to get here. About like we did yesterday, going down to Brooks, down to Killing, yeah. down in the Killing, Alabama. We have a breaking pitch, called strike. Make the count, one ball, two strikes, two outs. Pitch is delivered. Uh, he went. Uh, well, I'm afraid. I don't know if he went or if he, if he called it a strike, but anyways, it is strike three. Yeah. He's going to end the inning. So going into the top of the fourth inning, Summertown still leads five to one over East Limestone. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today.
All right, we're back here. Got softball up 6 nothing down the street here. Where's the ball dog at? Is he here or softball today? Well, he was he was here during warm-ups, but I think he's abandoned us for softball. It is a quicker sport, quicker-paced sport. Absolutely. This is number three, Fitz, leading things off here for East Limestone. I know the ball dog was here at the beginning of this game. I looked over there and saw him. He was right under the second camera over there. Tennis is on the road at Mount Pleasant. They're probably getting about finishing up. They start their games early. They were there at 3.30. Ball's going to be lifted and drove here in the left field. That's gone. Yeah, it's out of here. We'll be gone. Yes, sir. Joe, you got a home run button over there next to your strikeout button. All right. Home run next to your strikeout button. That's, that's a good place to put it, I guess. He go. does hit that ball out of the park here. Off Jackson. Make the score now two to five. Yeah. It done it a minute ago. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. We'll bring up oh, number seven, good. Brown. The catcher today. You know, as that kid, I was talking about his batting stance. You don't see a lot of, uh, you know, he's really low down and stays compact in his swing. And yeah. Looks like it works really well for him. And he toes the line and the – well, he's kind of backed off the line this time. But earlier his toes was on the line, it looked like. I'll take ball two there. Jackson, Jackson, I would say he was kind of grimacing yeah. his arm a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Jackson didn't look like he liked the way he released that one. So Coach Burson going out and have a talk with him. We'll take a little break. It's Summertown Baseball on Export Sports Network. Hood Make Company your property is rock and roll the with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, this week's compost, of the week. mulch, this spacious top soil, bedroom, landscape bath, gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock and from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley reduced. Road in Lawrenceburg, just off. All right, we're back. We're like Coach Burson went out and had a little talk with him. So everything seemed to be okay. Everybody kind of went back to their spots. But it was pretty quick. It's two uh, two zero count. Deliver that one. Called ball. Count will be 3 0. All right, guys, I got to stand up a minute. Pitch is delivered. Called strike. Makes it three balls and one strike. Nobody out. Scores two to five. Summertown leads. Mm. Pitch is going to be in on him. Ball four. I don't know if it's ball four if it hit him. Uh, it was ball four. It was. I don't think it ever hit him. He may have clipped his jersey, but it never hit nothing solid. As hard as it hit this pad back here. They are going to get a pinch runner in. It's number 22. I can't I, read that. I can't. I don't. Do you have any idea? Uh, this coach's writing is about like mine. Let's see, was well, number 22. Fi 15 up here? No, no the number 22 is a pinch come in to pinch run. Oh, I'm sorry. No, can't help you. Number 15 is Scott. He's in the hit. Pick over to first base. He gets back safe. One ball, no strikes. Nobody out. Jackson comes set, delivers the plate, swung through. I'm going to go with Eslick. E S L I C K. Eslick. I'm thinking that's what that's what I was gonna call it, but yeah. Eslick. Eslick. That's what I Sounds was gonna good call to it. Me. So number twenty two is in the pinch run, Eslick. I told all of them over there if they watch us to mute it. <laughs> <laughs> For reasons like Jackson, that. Jackson delivers. Breaking pitch. That, <sighs> that's a good spot. It must be up out of his zone. So a little bit. Yeah. Well he's been he's not giving that high one today at all, so it looked like about belly button high to me, so
He's delivered away. Make count three balls, pitch. one strike. I mean, just a tad high. It's, look. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I guess. Still no outs. Um, we ball four. Right? Right. There again, did not look like that bad a pitch to me. That'll bring up number 18. Yeah, I'm not trying to say Go that. Ahead. Here's, here's that Would pitch. You? Just, yeah. uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, maybe just up a little, a little, maybe just a little inside. So, still no outs. Got a runner standing at first and second. Gonna hit this one. Nobody warming. Yeah, we ain't seen nobody in the bullpen down there yet. Bases loaded, no outs. Gonna bring up number four, the third baseman, Vinning. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> Cole. Vining. Could be Vining. We could just call him Cole. Let's just call him Cole. <laughs> there you go, Cole. It's a little easier to Bases say. Bases loaded, no outs here. Does look like Huckabee's gonna go down and warm up. Action comes set here. Summertown's corners are are in. The middle infield's back. They're still looking to turn a double play. Pitch is gonna be up and away. It's going to be a ground ball. Not by Grayson. Through the first base side. It's going to score one. Here comes another one. Keegan's going to get the ball in. He is going to score two runs. Make the score four to five. Still no else. Still nobody out. Runner now standing at first and third. And that's just out of the reach of Grayson over there. Does make the score five to four. Bring up number one, Coker. Hitting in the nine hole today. We back to the top. Brody Coker. Jackson comes set here. Steps to third. Now he had him if he'd went ahead and threw. I think his dad agrees with you. Yeah, it was a you know fake the third throw to first. He had to guy at first, but he had to, he double pumped to throw it. He wasn't ready to throw when he turned. So, pitch is delivered. Runner is going. Fouled back into the net for strike one. Will be no balls, one strike, no outs. Runners standing at first and third. Jackson comes set here. Fakes the third again. Runner runner don't buy it over at first this time. Summertown has scored seven runs across the street. Over to softball game. Pitch is delivered. I think that was a pitch out. Nobody moved though. So one ball, one strike. Nobody out. Runner standing at second and third. They have played three runs this inning here in the top of the fourth. Jackson comes set and delivers. It's that breaking pitch. Strike two. It's good location on that ball. Yeah, it was. Jackson fakes over to third again. Just trying to keep this guy over at first honest. If we can keep him there and get this strikeout right here would be huge. That way you can ball's gonna be hit high ah, towards Ryder's glove. 
Crowder jumps, goes right off the end of his glove, does play another run. I think if he'd been an inch taller, he might have got that one. That will tie it up. With no outs. So nobody out. Runner standing at first and second. Number Squires the bunt. 14 is their leadoff. We're going to call him Gunner. That'll work. The fans to the right of us have cheered up a little. Good reason. Yeah. Jackson toes the rubber here. No balls, one strike, nobody out. Two runners on. Pitch is delivered. He was squaring the bunt again. Pulls that back. will be outside. Jackson comes set to deliver the one-on-one -one pitch. He does. It's going to be up and away. We got this guy. He's out. Good job right there by Zach. This guy at first was getting a humongous secondary. I know that Grayson was fully expecting it when he turned and popped it over. But he was looking at him, so he catches it and makes the play. So it gets us one out. Runner at second. Two balls, one strike. They get out of this inning, guys. Some way or another. Three balls, one strike, one out. A fastball. in there. Strike two. Counts full with one out. Runner standing at second. Fighter's going to call time here. Step out. Pizza deliver is going to be grounded right towards, through. gets mm. through the middle. We'll score another run as Casey Blackwood lets it get off his glove. He's going to move up to second on it. They do take the lead on that one. Makes it six to five. So they've scored five runs this inning? Yes. Brings up number five, Cade. And you only recorded one out. Parham. 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 Parham, Parham. We real good with these names. Pitch counts up to 72. Pitch is delivered. We're away. 72, if I'm doing it right, Will. Can't yeah, make any yeah. promises that it's 100%. <laughs> no, uh, trust me, I get it. <laughs> Cade is one for two today with a strikeout and a single. Foul that ball back in the net. Make it one ball, one strike, one out. Jackson steps back on the rubber. Try to get us out of this inning. Pitch is delivered. All speed pitch. Look at breaking pitch. Didn't quite get back to the plate. Stayed away from him just a little. Is it two balls, one strike? Jackson spins, looks at the guy at second. Fighter's going to call time and step out like he's got to adjust his batting glove. I think this inning's 
longer than the, this half inning is longer than the rest of the game combined. I believe I think it, is. it has been. They're arguing a little bit as this runner's <laughs> his rider is kind of running circles around this guy at shortstop trying to hold him on and he jumped out into him. Ball's gonna be fouled off in a third baseline. Somebody's going up her porch out there and shaking her uh, camera a little bit. Well, if you're wondering if you're wondering why it's shaking. Yeah. Spin it around and put them on camera. That's what I'm about trying to do. Out there. <laughs> well, they've just made themselves at home up there, haven't they? Yes. Ball's lifted here into left field. It's going to get down. How? And it, I don't. Well, exactly what happened there. It's just a little flyer here into left field. I know one of the guys out there, but I couldn't see who the other one was. Jason Bartison is going to come out and have a little visit. It's his Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than quality storage buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Kalaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. Head on over to Shaw. Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. All right, we're ready. We're back. Uh, do make a pitching change. Got Huckable coming in to throw for Summertown. Jackson Bennett will go to shortstop. Ryder Blackwood come to the dugout. He is still hitting. Runner's gone. They throw down at him. He's safe. Yeah, he got around it. Ball's going to get over Kane's head over here at third as Jackson tries to throw over on this runner. Kane had to get up pretty good to try to pitch? touch that one. Was it a strike? I, Looked like a strike. It looks like one. But yeah, I, I say that the, the throw drew Jackson off target. Yeah, yeah, it drew Jackson away from the bag. Runners now at second and third. Thought Our they had him. Infield is in. Which is going to be down the way. Ball two. I was like, I guess that first what pitch wasn't a strike. That's what they got on the board. I thought that first pitch was a strike, but. Luck will come set here, delivers. Ball swung through, strike one.
Umpire saying one ball, two strikes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the, now they've changed the board. Look, Zach's going to slide out and block that breaking pitch up. Now it's 2 2. This is Leighton Kaufman, number 13, in the box. He's their pitcher, I believe, isn't he? He's been resting yes. a long time. <laughs> they may have to go with another pitcher. Be called ball. Make it 3 2. Pitch is going to be popped up. Grayson Burleson's calling for it over here by the first base dugout. Like he that. does. Gets the second out of the inning. Now, Timmy, I He's know you had to bring up number three. I know you had to work really hard to get that camera going, but look at what a nice. It is. I didn't have to work that hard. I just wish I'd got here early enough to make it a little neater. Neater. Neatier. Is that, is that a word? <laughs> they are going to walk this guy. This is the guy that hit the home run while ago, so they're going to put him on to load the bases. They got a disappointed mama down here. Yeah, she said that wasn't no fun. That's a sign of respect, mom. Should be number seven, Tristan Brown. Got him listed as her first baseman. I believe he got walked his last at bat. Pitch will be low and out for ball one. Toes the rubber. I'm set here and delivers. Ball's going to be grounded right back to the pitch. He comes and gets it. Throws over to first base. Grayson scoops. Whew. Makes a great play over there. His, his hook just spiked that thing in the dirt in front of him over there. It's actually a great scoop there, but Grayson probably got a little bit of a replay action of it here. The wheel's showing. It was grounded. You get the. Yeah, Grayson makes a great play on that ball to get yeah. it up. Uh, good job right there, but Grayson gets us out of the inning. But they do play five runs, go up six to five. Summertown trails by one, going into the bottom of the fourth. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A and B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. <laughs> All right, we're back. Is Ryder Blackwood's going to step in? Takes ball one up and away. Ryder hitting in the nine hole today. Need to get him on right here and get us back to the top and see if we can't get some runs. He here. reached last time on the bunt, did he not? He did. Yeah. It's going to be a called strike out there on that outside corner. He's called that pitch about all day. Yeah, you got to be ready for that one. But that was that's yeah. back. That's back out there. He calls that when the ball says it's outside, but. Is about in the same spot. Ryder steps back in. Two balls, one strike. Pitch is delivered. Ryder's going to slap that one at the first baseman. He fields. Jogs over and steps on the bag. The first out of the inning. Bring up our lead off, Grayson Burleson. Grace 
Jackson steps in. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. First pitch breaking pitch for a strike. Yeah, he think I'm getting I in there he's, setting on that pitch. I think he's through that first pitch for it's gonna be a fast ball. Grayson's gonna foul off. I thought that pitcher might be a little rusty sitting over there for so long, but Well, we have concluded that his uh his curveball is his favorite pitch. Yes. Most definitely. I would I would say he's probably started every batter with it. Yeah, as Grayson goes down 0-2 here with one out. Pitch is delivered. It'll be a ball in the dirt. Grayson steps back in. One ball, two strikes, one out. Pitch is delivered. There Call it is. strike three on that breaking pitch. That was that same that's pitch he threw. Yeah, that's a good pitch. I mean, that's just – that thing's got a pretty good break on it. See what you think. Ball's going to be tapped back to the pitcher by Jackson Bennett. Picks it up. Throws over the first third out of the inning. Summertime can't do no damage in the bottom of the fourth. See if we can't go out and hold them here in the top of the fifth and come back in and put a couple on the board. This is Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-444. Four six zero two. All right, we're back. Leading things off is number 15, Baylor Scott. Huck delivers a first pitch strike. Pitch is lifted here in the center field. Casey Blackwood looks like he's got a beat on it. He does. First out of the inning. All right, is that Paley over there standing on my steps, on your steps? That's Paley's come stomping up there. Jarring the camera around, Paley. <laughs> we'll have to make another phone call, I guess. Now he's standing still now. We'll have to go out there and brace it up, I guess. That brings up number 18, Roman. Pitch swung through. Yeah, we're getting Roman. Mine says Adam. Number well, 18, Adam. So Adam, we can say Roman, Roman or Adam. Balls um, popped up here on the infield. Mm. I don't know what Elijah calls him off and then drops it. Yeah, I missed it. It's actually it's your third baseman's ball. He was coming, and I don't know who called it. I guess it was Elijah because everybody just, Zach and Kane both just stopped. So give him another chance here. No it balls, two strikes. Count. No harm done. Good pitch. Comes in there with that breaking pitch for strike three. That'll bring up Cole Vinning. 
number four. Ball's lifted into right field. Keegan McCarthy's going over. It is going to get out of play. Huck becomes set here, delivers the old one pitch. Ball away. Makes it one ball, one strike, two outs. Nobody on. Summertown Trails here, six to five if you're just joining us. To East Limestone. Huckabee delivers. Ball's going to be grounded down the third baseline. Kane Fields throws over to first. Russell Burson makes the catch for the third out of the inning. So as we're coming back in, Kane Kinnick, her three hole should be leading off. Should be Kane Kaysen. No. See if they can't get something started. And see if we can't put a few runs up. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. All right, we're back. Kane Kenny's going to step in, take the first pitch at the bottom of the fifth inning. Be a breaking pitch in there for strike one. I'm telling you, we're just going to have to we're just going to have to go in thinking we're going to hit that pitch. Here comes said here. It's going to be another there one called strike two. I think that one may have been a little bit outside. Got O2 on you now, baby. You got to step in there and see if you can't defend. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a quick pitch there by the pitcher. Umpire luckily called time. Kane steps back in, 0 2. Pitcher delivers. The fastball in the dirt. Ball one. I think you're sitting on that curveball right here, Joe. Yeah, you got to be ready for that thing. You got to fight it out. throw it us. in. Ball's going to be in the dirt. It was a breaking pitch, but it was in the dirt. Makes it 2-2. Two -two. Can't get comfortable. I mean, you still, just because you got two balls, you still got two strikes. No outs. We need you on right here, big guy. Pitcher sets and delivers. And he's going to chop that one over towards the shortstop. Shortstop comes in, fields, throws over to first base. First out of the inning. Case and Blackwood gonna step in. And, you know, I don't. We don't learn quick enough, guys. I mean, I, we're seeing this same pitch over and over. And there it is again. First pitch, breaking pitch. It is in the dirt for a ball. It's Case and squared the bunt. Pulls back on the ball in the dirt. Yes, yeah, Summertown up nine nothing over Mount Pleasant. With base is loaded. Over to softball field. Pitcher sets and delivers. Looks pretty good. Yeah, see, now he's calling that curveball out there, but he's not calling the fastball out there. I don't. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. Casey swings, swings through, through that, that one. one. Makes it's it two balls, one strike, one out. Nobody on. Casey's going to ground that one to the third baseman off his glove. We had a base runner. Be an error on the third baseman, but it does give us a base runner in Casey and Blackwood. I know Casey's got some wheels out there. We'll be Aiden Perez with Keegan McCafferty on. Nope, sorry. Zach, Zach Stags Stag. is on deck. I'm sorry. 
We do have one on, one out. Pick over to first. He's back easy. Mason got a good lead over at first. He's gone. Tries He's to there. throw him out. He's there easy. It was a strike. Yeah, it was a called strike. Puts Perez down. No balls, one strike. Shortstop is right behind Kaysen. It's just tapped out in front of the plate. Going to roll foul. Goes down 0-2. Will must have been thinking something he didn't need to say. He's muted himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's out of the game for a minute. Pitcher delivers. Going to be in the dirt, going to squirt away. Casey's going to move up to third. Now just 90 feet away from Tynus. The thing Casey does when he gets on base. So one ball, two strikes, one out. Runner at third in Casey Blackwood. Aiden Perez, pitch is delivered. Going to be down and away for ball two. This kid's got to have a rubber arm, as many curveballs, as many breaking pitches as he's thrown today. I've got him at 80 total yeah. pitches. So. And I'm going to say 80% of them is breaking pitches. I'm thinking Summertown softball must have had a grand slam because it is 13 to nothing now. It was 9 to nothing a minute ago, right? With bases loaded. Yes, it was. I wonder who hit it. Or maybe they're just hitting base hits. I like another home run maybe right there. Ball's going to be up up and out a little bit here to make it 3-2. That's 14 nothing, whatever it was. All right, full count, one out. Cason steps back in. Pitch, going to be in the dirt, going to walk. Sorry, I said Cason is aiding. Another kid with some wheels getting on. We need this run at third here with one out. Yes. Tie the games. Their coach is going to come out and have a little conversation with their pitcher. It's just Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. BRCU, not for profit, for service. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil and Malco product. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Haviland, Castro GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at VolcoAutosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. All right, we're back as they do make a pitching change. It's going to be Noah Workman coming in from second base. Uh, Kaufman moved to, to second, second base. base. I'm going to bring up Zach Staggs, runners first and third with one out. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. Ball's going to skip away. He is going to move Perez to second. 
One ball, no strikes. One out here. Zach Stags. I got a text, Will, that said the girls hit four doubles in a row. Oh, really? And the game has been called. Huh. They may all show up over here because it's going to take us another five hours. To so play it, this game. it must be uh, 15 runs, four innings yes. kind of thing over there. Yes, it is. 15 after four. Well, I'm glad to see them do that to Mount Pleasant. I just know last year, for whatever reason, Mount Pleasant softball came in here and and got up on us five nothing, six nothing at one point. We always came back and won, but we struggled for for some reason. Well, they didn't struggle today. Don't no, they, they did not. Mm. I see that looked a little out. Does it not, Timmy? Looked a little out. Uh, I mean, he's. I think he's called that same pitch right there. He's been out there. He ain't Balls, called the fastball. Yeah, he ain't called the fastball much out there, but he's called the breaking pitch out there a lot. But so one ball, one strike. One out. Runner standing at second and third. Ball's in the dirt. Catcher is going to keep it in front of him. Cason can't go nowhere. Make the count. Two balls, one strike. We do have one out. Runner second and third. I think Zach just look around right here and play the game, big guy. Put me something in play. Just get it over the infield. They're all in on the grass trying to get the out at home. Pitch is delivered. Zach's going to take that and down and in. Ball three makes it 3-1. The scoreboard went off. I just It does that. It's aggravating. Zach steps back in, 3-1. Pitcher delivers. Fast ball. He's going to hit it back up the middle. It's going to score through. Summertown should get two right here. Aiden Perez is going to score from second base on that. Good job by Zach hitting that ball back up the middle with the infield in. Just a little squirter to get through. Goes down as a single with two RBIs. Good piece of hitting right there by Zach. Clutch. Yes. Real well, good piece of hitting. Are going to get a runner for him. Number one, Mason Neal coming across. He conversates with Coach Blackwood there just a little bit. Summertown does reclaim the lead, 7-6 to six now. Summertown up by one here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Pitcher comes set, delivers. Keegan showed bunt, had everybody crashing. Sperson runs back through his signs again. So one ball, no strikes, one out. Runner at first. Pick over to first base. Neal's going to get back easy. I like that camera right there. I do too. When he picks, all I got to do is look down and see what's happening. <laughs> yeah. So Keegan's going to square, pulls back, tries to slice, fouls it back over our heads. I also have a good view of the scoreboard from right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I like our new camera placement we got over there. So one ball, one strike, one out. Runner at first. Pitch is delivered. Ah, Keegan squares the bunt. So Keegan couldn't have done nothing with that ball. It was up nah, and away. Up. If he bunts it, he is going to pop it back up. There was that ball was up. Makes it one ball, two strikes. Pitch is delivered. Keegan's going to drive that ball. Ain't nobody going to get to that. It's kind of in no man's land out there. And left center field just flares it out there. Gets down for Keegan's second hit of the game. Nice piece of hitting there by Keegan. Both hits has come with two strikes on him. Bring up Matthew Luppin, one out. Runners at first and third. Got uh, Keegan McCafferty at first. Mason Neal's at second. Running for Zach Staggs. Matthew left and hitting, and Ryder Blackwood will be on deck. Pitch is going to be up and in. Pitcher comes set here. Deliver the 1 0 pitch. Matthew swings, just kind of check swings on that, and that's. That's a pitch, too. That's a fastball on that outside yeah. corner. 
that's the pitch you want in this situation with your first baseman holding a guy on. That is a huge hole on this side of the field. He throws you outside, hit it through that hole. Yeah. Maybe. Second baseman's holding the guy on at second, and first baseman's holding the guy on at first. He shows slash, pulls back, pops it up here on the infield. Second baseman makes the play. It's going to be Workman, number 13. Brings up Ryder Blackwood. That was Kaufman, number Kaufman, 13. Kaufman, sorry. Workman's Workman. the one that came yeah. to pitch. Sorry. They swapped them on me, didn't they? Yes, they did. I'm going by memory over here. My memory don't last that long anymore. <laughs> That'll bring up Ryder with two outs. Runners first and second. He has a huge hole over on this side of the field, too. Ryder's going to hit one back at the shortstop. He fields, flips to second, be the third out of the inning. Summertown does play two runs here. Oh. Take the lead back over, seven to six. We'll take a little break as they're coming out. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. All right, we're back. Suckable delivers the first pitch. We fouled off down third baseline, out of play. Uh, we won't uh, talk about Friday. AJ will be here. That is right. AJ will be here and do it Friday. You're right. We do have AJ here. Ball's going to be grinding back to Hook. The pitcher's bound. He fields. Flips over to first to Grayson for the first out of the inning. I'll take it. Yeah, AJ will be here Friday. He said he had his little girl's birthday Saturday. His little boys. Little boys, sorry. Little boys' CJ. birthday. CJ. Yeah, CJ's got his birthday Saturday, so he didn't know if he'd make it or not. But uh, He's coming Saturday. He just won't be here. Or... Ball's going to yeah. be flared into left field off the end of the bat. He'll be here Friday for sure Yeah, to do the – I think he told me, yeah, he's got family coming in for yes. the for CJ's. Yeah, got quite a bit of family. Hey, stuff you can tell the softball game's over. Bo the ball dog is back. Is he? Yep, he's over there by the dugout. All right. So, one out, runner at first. Huckle becomes set here. Picks over to first base. He gets back easy. This is Cade Parham. Timmy's yawning on the broadcast again. Yawning on the broadcast again. again. You must work a lot harder than I do. I do, Will. I promise you. (laughs) Stuff. I've been spraying lacquer the last two days, and that stuff just drains me. Oh, yeah, me too. (laughs) (laughs) Drains you too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm about half drunk when I get done spraying it, so that may be the problem. Pitch delivered, pitch out. Zach's uh-huh. got him if it's – He didn't release it too yeah. slow. No, nah, he oh, got wow. him. They got him? Yeah, he got yeah. him. Umpire calls him out. Let's see it. Yeah. Yeah, he gets him. You think so? Yeah, he gets him on that shoulder. Look. Watch right here. Bam, front shoulder. That will give us two outs. 
pitch is going to be lifted into right field. Keegan Rafty makes that play. Right field's the one spot that Cameron won't go to. Yep. So, be the third out of the inning. Summertown coming in for the bottom of the sixth. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. All right, it's going to be back to the top of the line up here, at the bottom of the sixth innings. Grayson Burleson steps in, face Workman for the first time. Tries to start him off with a breaking pitch. It's going to stay up. Sun's right in our eyes. It's warm in here, though, Will. Yeah. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. We have fast ball. Grayson's going to poke that and through the 5 6 hole. There again. That shortstop uh, is. He's still shading that second yeah. base bag. He's playing the middle, that's for sure. I mean, we've hit, what, two balls up the middle? Maybe mm. three? Yeah, maybe. Their coach is going to come out, going to take the ball away from him. So, as they're swapping up pitchers, we'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Xbox Network. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Larkburg, Tennessee. All right, we're back. It's Grayson Bartleson is at first base with no outs. Going to bring up Jackson Bennett steps in. The pitcher is J.A. Brooks, number 19. Uh, ball is going to be flied, popped up here. Shortstop's going back, calling it. 
does make the play. I don't know that that's not the first pitch fastball any of us have seen all day. Yeah, I mean, that last pitcher started gracing off of that breaking yeah. pitch. I'd really like to have an insurance run yeah. before we go to the seventh. Bring up Kane Kinnick with one out, runner standing at first. We'll be ball down and away. Pitcher comes set and delivers. We ball up. Kane's going to take that as Grayson takes. Grayson takes second. Stole that one on the pitcher. Guys on the field tried to holler at yeah, him to step off. His holler step off, but he didn't. But. Makes the count. Two balls, one strike, one out. Grayson does move up to second. Catcher's going to call time, run out and talk to the pitcher. It's a good job right there by Kane. He looked up and he sees Grayson going, and that's that's what you do. I mean, you just go at, at that point in the count with two balls, no strikes. You definitely you just, don't want to foul that no, pitch off. You just take that pitch because he's got second made, so. So two balls, one strike, one out. Grayson Burson has moved up to second base. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. Kane's going to fist that one to the third baseman. Grayson's going to move up to third on it. About like a swinging bunt. Does move Grayson up to third now with two outs. Going to bring up Kaysen. We do have a runner at third, two outs. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers to Casey. Be up and away. Catcher never looked at Grayson. Grayson's way down the line as Coach Burson's telling. He said, look, don't, you know, I don't know exactly what he's saying, but I'm sure it's something like, don't run us out of this inning. We got yeah. two outs. It's going to be called strike. Get my phone call from Mr. Brian Zayden up Spring Hill. He'll have to give me just a minute. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be called ball. Be two balls, one strike, two outs. Grayson is at third. Be grounded towards shortstop. Shortstop fields. Throws over to first. Pulls He's it. Safe. Yeah, Kaysen beats it. Grayson does come across the plate. So the shortstop with a throw in there there pulls the first baseman off. Bring your score. Summertown eight. East Limestone six. Got the big insurance run. We got a runner at first, two outs. Bring up Aiden Perez. Casey gets a pretty good lead over at first. They pick over there. He's back easy. I think he had a step right here, Casey. Make it easier for you to get to second. Got a good lead over there. Pick back over there again. Back pretty easy. The guys in the outfield have done a good job. It's a delivered. Casey's gone. They ain't got a chance. He's there safe. Let's say the guy sitting in our porch in the outfield have done a good job of not moving. They must, they must not have moved an inch. It hasn't shaken since you <laughs> called them. What was that pitch called right there? Was it a strike? Yes. No balls, one strike. Brand steps in. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. Going to be up and away for ball one. Do, do have two outs. Casey, goes. Casey's gone. Black is, Perez takes that pitch. Yeah, Casey's told that one on the pitcher again. He's out there pretty good. Pitcher never looks at him. 
he just leaves. He was, already, was hollering step yeah, off. He was already there. Of, yeah, they're hollering step off. I don't think it would have done any good for him to step off. No, I don't. I don't think he would have got him right there. Ball's ripped into the four, the five, six hole for a base hit. And Casey's going to score easy. Nice piece of hitting right there. Aiden laid off that pitch. You know, let Casey get yes. get the third without fouling it off. Well, and that's what Casey does for us. That's the reason we need to figure out some way to get the kid on. You know, we need him on about 75, 80% of the time. If we can get him on, we can score. Yes. Because, I mean, his wheels and stuff on the base. I mean, a base hit, he's going two bases at least. I feel like if you get him to second base, he's in scoring position on a hit for sure. Most definitely. And, uh, you know, a lot of times he, he'll take third like he did right there. If the catcher bobbles at all, he'll move up to third. So, you know, he uh, – he can do things on the basis for us if we can get him to start getting on consistently. Perez is going to get his lead over here at first. Summertown has played him two more runs. Makes the score six to nine here in the bottom of the sixth. Zach's going to foul that one here at the plate. Goes down, no balls, one strike, two outs. Perez at first. Christie's lead out there pretty good this time. I've caught, I'm catching myself watching the camera more than I'm looking out the window. Well, I've got to watch it. I can't <laughs> see first base. Pitch I can't see the second baseman. Pitch is going <laughs> to be where I'm sitting. Well, I can't see the first baseman. I have to go. I have to lean over and look at Will. Uh, Zach's going to take that fastball for a strike. We'll make the count. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. We do have a runner at first base. Pitcher steps off. Gets Perez back over there. He had stretched that lead out quite a bit. Hadn't seen this pitcher pick at all yet. Perez is gone. He's going to be in there safe. Most of this, you know, it makes it tough on a catcher. I mean, it, you hate to say it, but most of these stolen bases are on the pitcher. Yes. I mean, he never looks over. You know, he stepped off, but he never looked back over after he stepped off when he towed the rubber back. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Pitcher comes set here, ready to deliver to Zach. Delivers. Zach's going to flubber back up the middle. They better hurry. Second baseman comes across, makes that he can't play. Can't make a play. Nah, he can't make the play on it. The ball just bounced over the pitcher's head. Second base was second base was on the third base side of the bag when he fielded it. Doesn't have can't make a play. Mason Neal's gonna come back out and run for Zach again. <coughs> Brings up Keegan McCafferty. Matthew Leftman on deck. Runner at first and third. Two outs. Mason's got him a good lead out there. Keegan's going to hit that to the 5-6 hole. I think that makes him three for four today, three for three. We'll be three, three for, for four. Three for four on the day. Good job, Keegan. We'll make your score yeah. Summertown 10. Coach is going to come out. He's Stone 6. Yeah, Coach is going to come out and talk. I say he's going to talk to the pitcher. but he going to get he another started, pitcher. Yeah, as he started out that way, the pitcher just held the ball up like here. You know, I'm, you know. So, But they are going to make another pitching change. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit FuelRewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. 
Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. All right, we're back. Matthew Luffin going to step in. Did make a pitching change. Going to be Micah Montgomery, number 12, coming in for East Limestone. Uh, two outs. Uh, Keegan McCarthy at first. Mason Neal's at second, giving the pitcher a hard time. This is a lefty that's come in. We do have Huck. It's been a pretty long inning. We got Huck down in the bullpen, just throwing a little bit, keeping his arm loose. Pitch delivered to the plate. Going to be in the dirt. Ball one. We still have two outs. One ball, no strikes. Two runners on. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. That's... A pretty good breaking piece, but it just didn't. It was quite, outside. Yeah. It didn't quite make it, it back over the plate, yeah. but it looked good. Yeah, if it, he starts at six inches more in, it's it's a strike. Oh yeah, but it's two balls, no strikes. Ball looked like it had about sixteen inches of break on it, coming back at the right-handed hitter. This pitcher does step off. Well, that's. That could almost be technically a quick pitch. Yeah. As soon uh, as Matthew stepped in, he was yeah. throwing it. Well, Matthew stepped out getting signs, and he had done come set on the mound before Matthew ever got in the box. It was outside. It is 3-0 count. Here comes set here, delivers. A fast ball away. Ball four. It's going to load the bases up here. Ryder Blackwood. If we can't get Ryder to get him a couple of RBIs right here. He can do it. We've seen it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like we've got somebody coming in to run for Matthew. Will be Cecil. Cecil Williams, number 22, is going to come in and run for Matthew. We've got quite a bit of speed on all three bases right there. Coach Burson hollers down, make sure Ryder understands he just threw four straight balls. Umpire filling out his little black book in his back pocket and steps back in. It's going to be called strike. That's that breaking that pitch. That's a good-looking pitch right there. Yeah, and that's – especially for Ryder, that's one of them that, you know, throws it at you and it ends up. Ball's going to be fouled off. Counts no balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases are loaded. Peach is delivered. Swings through. Swing and strike miss. three. So Cassie Dawes has posted here on her site and. Uh, to Brittany Kinnick and uh, Morgan Long that uh, I don't get it as, as excited as I used to when I coached him in Dixie Youth Ball. Well, Cassie, I have uh, – I've got older. I have blood pressure problems now because I'm raising <laughs> a 17-year-old son. Uh, I promise you, girls was easier. Uh, no, I, uh, I do get excited, but I've tried to calm it down a little bit on the radio. So the yelling still happens. You can ask the guys that's up here next to me. <laughs> But it's usually off air, Cassie. So I, I try to keep uh, try to keep it to a, a mute here on the thing. But uh, 
We had a lot of fun playing softball back in the day. Oh, and I did yell a little. May have been a little hard on you, but uh, y'all all played hard for me too. So, but we'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. All right, we're back. We still have Huckabaw on the mound. First pitch swinging through. This is Kaufman, number 13. No balls, one strike. Nobody out here in the top of the seventh. Pitch is delivered. The breaking pitch just didn't quite have the bite on it. You could see it from where we're sitting. It had about halfway in, it had a little wiggle, yeah. and it just flattened out on him. It didn't have the – It never bit. No. It tried, but it just didn't have it. So, up comes back set, delivers. Ball's going to be fouled off behind us. As Brittany Kinnick Myers has commented back and says it's all Will Pettis. He's the one that keeps me calm up here. Uh, it's yeah, he, he's got a mute button up here that he he mutes me pretty regular. I you know I remember <laughs> at Mount Pleasant you stood up and you were about to holler at Kane and I pressed the button just in time. Yes. Yeah, that's happened a few times. This ball's going to be popped up here. Matthew Luffman going back. Keegan McCarthy's going to make the play. Yeah, he's muted me a few times, but uh, <laughs> I think it's the bald head, Will. It's calming. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, it's me sitting up here with you and your bald head. It's, it's you know, the reflection's very calming for me because where you're sitting, <laughs> where you're sitting right now, you know, we're we're having to shade our glasses over here because I know it's pretty I think bright. The, the viewers can see it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's, it shines in here pretty good, but. Pitch is going to be lifted into center field. Jason Blackwood's got a beat on it. Makes It'll the play. Number two. Get one more right here. Summertime to walk away with a win today. Might get to the Mexican restaurant before dark. You buying, Will? I'm uh, in. Yeah, I think I owe you now. I'm in. I've uh, received word that the Braves opening day is going to be postponed another day because of rain in Philly. Ball swung through, strike one. So my anguish will be delayed another day. This is number seven, Tristan Brown. Huckabee comes set here, delivers. Ball's going to be drove here into. That's down. That will get yeah. down for a base hit. Drove in the left center field, down for a base hit. So. Do have two outs. Number 15 up coming up. Baylor Scott. Mark Pig's asking about is his bald head calming too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Mark, Mark actually says to me, so another bald head makes you angry is what he says. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's what it was, Mark. When you the two bald heads on each side of me when you was here, it, you know, it angered me a little bit. I couldn't you know, but no. Hey, I love these guys and what they do for this Mark and what he's done up here and what Will does for Summertown mm -hmm. Athletics. It's, Mark's doing softball by himself. Yes. Pitch is gonna be outside. Couldn't find him a helper over there. Can't get nobody over there to help him. You couldn't Kyle Burleson wouldn't help. I'll jump in over if we ain't got a game. If we ever get them separated a little bit, I'll come help and you. Grinley Taylor's dad won't help. Ball's going to be grounded. Jackson makes the play, throws over to first base. Grayson has to tag and safe. Jackson had to go in the hole and get that and pulled Grayson off the bag a little bit. Looked like Grayson tried to swap tag. Let's see what you think on this. No, yeah, he, he missed him. him. Yeah, he missed him. That was he a good missed. call. 
Peach is delivered. We'll, we'll be, be out. Away. All right, we don't want the uh, – Here we go with this two-out curse again. I keep having to bring it up. Here but comes Coach Burson. Coach Burson going to come out and talk to Huck. And, uh, He's at 32 pitches. Yeah, see if he can't calm somebody down. We ain't got nobody in the bullpen. We're going to try to get this out. Summertown leads by four, score of score of six to ten, Summertown. So, we'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank. We're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs, as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg. All right, we're back. Hug steps in. Runner standing at first and... Second, two outs. This kid's a pretty good stick. Number good. 18, Roman. We think. Yeah, we ain't going to say. It's Roman or Adam. Well, okay. they were, I heard them holler Roman out here Okay, early. all right, good. Look. Fouls that and off. The tying run is on deck. We don't want him to come up. Yeah. Makes it one ball, one strike. Big calls to, ooh. Yeah, calls yeah. to. <laughs> I think the, I think the umpire the, thought uh, that was strike three. The umpire is saying it's strike three. No. The umpire thought he just rung him up and he actually did. stood up and held up three fingers and said, that's three. And I think and Zach and the Zach batter got, both was like, like I don't no. think so. <laughs> Runners are there gone. It is. it is a strikeout. Good finish right there. But uh, we don't know if everybody can see. Will did put his hat on. Kind of killed the glare here. <laughs> you know, kind of trying yeah. to help us out up here a little bit. So, no, it's a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> I enjoy doing this. Uh, couldn't, Same here. Couldn't do it without y'all, but uh, today was time. today was today was more fun. It was. We won. Yeah. So and we was at home. We was at home and we won a game. Yeah. First home win yep. of the year. Yeah. Second home game out of how yeah. many? How many games have we done played this year? Does anybody know? Uh, this this would be number thirteen. Uh, yeah, so we're yeah. Yeah. But uh, went Monday. I know y'all listening, but the Brooks guy down there, uh, Kristen. Chatterton down there, he that's he's a real deal, guys. That kid, you yes. know, Grayson, him and Grayson headed off down there, and we had two really good pitchers on the mound down there in that game. Today we come up and we hit. We're, I think we're gonna hit the ball better as we go on because of the pitching we faced. Uh, I agree. So yeah. I, I think it's you know and maybe, maybe saw some of that today. Yes, I hope. Uh, you know, in the bottom part of our lineups come to life. I mean, we you hit know, the ball better today than we have all season. We did. Uh, you know, so the. Uh, I think Keegan McCarthy went three for four with the bat today. You know, so that's yes, what I'm saying. The lower, the lower part of the lineup starting to pick up. We got Ryder Brackwood inserted down there now. Ryder's going to be a threat to hit the ball. Ryder doing good things at the yep. plate. For Zach, sure. Zach has dropped in the lineup some, but Zach's hitting the baseball. I think he was three for three. Yeah, maybe Zach. I'd have to go back and look. So, but. I think they all had four at so bats today. So we got some mix, interesting games coming up next. We do. We play Lawrence County at home Friday. Uh, Timmy, y'all, I don't know. Y'all won't get to hear me Friday. AJ said I could help or I could be a fan. I think I'm going to come in and kind of start the game with AJ, depending on how it's going and who I need to yell at. I hope Cassie's still listening. Who I need to yell and scream at during that Lawrence County game, then I may have to get off the air and go outside and do a little yelling and screaming. So it's it will be a doubleheader, but it is the junior high yeah. plays Kaufman here. Right. Yep. Then the high school plays Lawrence County High School here at yep. Summertown on Saturday night. At five o'clock, I know the time. Friday is or Saturday is five. Okay. Uh, at Lawrence County Field. All right. Zach Staggs was four for four. Zach with, Staggs four for four with two RBIs. All right. Well, good. And you know he um he had a good day down at Page the other day. He's getting some clarification on our times. Middle school starts at two on Friday. So Kaufman versus Summertown Middle. Two o'clock here on Friday, and then I assume just shortly JV, after JV game. This will be I'm JV hearing. before. So I'm hearing that what we've got is two o'clock will be the junior yeah. high yeah. Uh, plays Kaufman. Then there will be a JV game, then a high school game. So there will be actually three games. I don't know how long the JV game will go, but the way they're talking is a JV game stuck in there against Lawrence County on Friday too. So it'll be three. It is Good Friday, so they're starting at two. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Well, that'll be a nice, no, you know, no school. Just come up here and uh, watch baseball all day. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. don't 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 listen to. I mean, I know AJ's good, but don't don't stay home and listen to him. Come here and watch it in person. Yeah, Much better. Please. Especially uh, if we have weather like today. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, nice. This is, this is baseball weather. It can stay like this year round for Timmy, but uh, for Timmy Kinnick, Mister Joe Cowton, Mister. Will Pettis, we appreciate y'all listening. This is Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the Exports Network.